How's it going guys? Huxthor here and we are back once again in the marvelous world of Subnautica and uh, since our last video they've actually added a couple of new items one of which is this um I think it's called the small locker let's see real quick let's just make sure yes the small locker so um originally when I seen this I thought that it was gonna be the lockers that you could place down here just to get these lockers to actually work you know so you could store stuff in here but it doesn't appear so at least not right now but I did notice you could change the name on these things so that way you could you know personalize them or categorize your items stuff like that but um, yeah that's pretty cool now I'm not really sure if they're gonna leave it like this or if uh, eventually they will incorporate it into the sea bases kind of like what you've seen down there with the uh, little lockers along the wall in the the Cyclops there but uh, the other item they added is this little upgrade for your welder now from what I can tell the laser cutter which is what it is you upgrade your welder into a laser cutter and it says that you can open sealed things so it, it doesn't seem like it actually functions quite yet but just the um, just the fact that we're gonna be getting a laser cutter and it says it can open up sealed things that makes me think that um, pretty soon we're gonna start finding little um, little containers or something like that of that nature from the Aurora that we're actually gonna need the the laser cutter to open up so we can get all the little goodies inside um, that's at least what I'm thinking so anyway uh, for the rest of this episode, we're just going to kind of mess around. We're not really going to do a whole lot. We're probably just going to talk to you guys a little bit about uh, future plans for the channel and uh, things of that nature. So I've been thinking about adding a couple of new games to the channel. And I was wanting to run it by you guys real quick, just kind of see what you thought. And I was kind of looking around here just to um, make sure I didn't miss nothing. Just kind of looking here. I don't see nothing. Nothing. Oh, I didn't mean to make that. I, I didn't mean to make that. We're just... Oh, damn it. Damn it! I didn't mean to make that. So anyway, I want to add a couple of new games to the channel. One of which is Fallout 3, one of my favorite games of all time. And I was thinking since Fallout 4 is just, you know, right around the corner, it's uh, it's almost here in like maybe five months, why not go ahead and kickstart things off with Fallout 3, get into the whole post-apocalyptic survival that is the Fallout series that we've all come to know and love so much. And, uh, you know, for the most part, it probably will be a modded version of Fallout 3 because I was a bit of a modder with the uh, Bethesda games, such as Fallout and the Elder Scrolls games and stuff like that. So it will probably more than likely be a modded version, but not heavily modded. And uh, I just wanted to run it by you guys, see what you guys thought. Be sure to let me know down in the comments. And also, uh, I'm thinking about bringing Seven Days to Die into the uh, channel. I think it would make a nice little series. It's a game that I've watched for a little bit now. And, you know, I forgot to save in the last video, guys. When I built the little sea base extension back here, I forgot to save. So, yeah. But, uh, like I was saying, with uh, Seven Days to Die, I really don't know too much about that game. I barely, I barely know anything at all, matter of fact, about the game. But I have been kind of closely watching it a little bit. You know, the little updates and stuff like that. And from what I can tell, the game looks really in-depth. And uh, at the same time, really, in, um, really fun to play. So I'm thinking about bringing that over to the channel, and uh, I just want to see what you guys would think about that. Uh, what are you doing with my... That's mine. Thank you. Leave that alone, okay? All right, I was just going over here to pick this up. So if you could just, um, you know, leave that stuff alone. Oh, did you bring that to me? Oh, fuck, he didn't. Shit, he got mad. He got really mad. Do not come between a stalker and his metal. He will get extremely upset. Wow, that dude acted as if I just kicked his mama in the face or something. He got so pissed off when I took his medal. All right, well, we're just going to go over here. We're going to go play by ourselves. We don't like playing with mean people like that. They're not cool. Now, there was this big giant cave that I saw over here, and I was wanting to kind of mess around with it. If I can find it again, that is. I don't even know if I can find the damn thing. So I spotted this yesterday, and I was thinking this would be something really cool you know if we could figure out something cool to do with it I'm kind of thinking about maybe grabbing up the terraformer and uh, changing a few things about it but for the most part this is just a really cool little tunnel I've never noticed this I don't know how this has slipped my mind I mean I might have come across it a while back when the game first came out and I was actually doing a lot of exploring and stuff of that nature but uh, since then it's completely slipped my mind and I what is it sea moth fragment that's all I ever find 
As far as the fragments, I find sea moth fragments everywhere. Matter of fact, here's another one. I guarantee it. Yes, it is. I was right. Score two points for Huxthor. Yay! You know, I was looking around, and I'm thinking about building another aquarium. Kind of like uh, in some of my past videos. I don't know if you guys saw them or not, but you should go back and check them out if you haven't. But uh, I was thinking about building a really nice looking aquarium somewhere in this area. And uh, somehow incorporating this big Emergency. giant tunnel. Oh, get some air. Get some air, you pussy. There you go. Get some of your air. Yeah. But, uh, you know, you, you guys let me know what you think. I think that would be pretty cool, right? Build a, a big giant aquarium and incorporate this. Now, I don't plan on doing it in this video. You know, this was just a little short update video. I'm, uh, I'm more than likely, I'm just kind of lazy today. I really don't know what it is, but I, I, I kind of got this... Um, weird feeling that's uh you know like it's kind of like laziness but at the same time it's almost like i don't feel good i'm not exactly sure what's going on guys it's one of those weird things you're just like oh what is wrong with me today i don't want to do nothing but at the same time i do i want to do something i want to make videos and and do this and do that but uh i just can't bring myself to do it you know it's kind of like um i don't know i don't know what's wrong with me i should probably um you know, like, uh, just get over myself, right? Just be like, oh, just get over your damn self, Huckstore. That's exactly what I need, guys. I need you guys to tell me that. Just be like, get over yourself, Huckstore. You're such a freaking pansy. Get over yourself. Quit being lazy. Make some damn videos for us. We want to watch some videos. That's what we come here for. We will come here to listen to your personal problems, dude. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's enough of that. I'm sorry. I got carried away there. Wow, this is a really cool looking place. I'm just out like, you know, swimming around. This looks cool. I am so good at drowning. I am like the greatest drowner of all time. You cannot outdrown me, okay? That's just, that's the point that I'm trying to make. You can't outdrown me. I'm the best. If um, there was a contest on drowning, I would win it. Especially if it took place in Subnautica, because apparently I'm really good at it. Anyway, we're just gonna kind of swim around off in the deep abyss over here. And uh, you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking, Let's, um, let's, um, go. Don't keep me waiting. Give me that good stuff. Oh, yeah, that's good stuff. Who put this hole here? This is not where I wanted this hole, okay? Damn it, guys. Every time I give you directions, you take the directions, you flip them upside down, and you build exactly the opposite of what you want you to build, blah, blah, blah. I can't even speak. But look at this damn hole. This is like the greatest cave ever. Look at those stalactites. They're beautiful. Along with some eye fish. Wow, this place looks freaking amazing. This is new. Um, or at least it's changed up quite a bit since the last time I was down here. This looks freaking awesome. There's even some um some lava like gushers or what are these what are these called? Freaking geysers? I think they're geysers. This looks great though. I want to build a sea base right here. I just want to be like um just um, just a nice little sea base. Just somewhere I could um, rest my head. Just um, right there, right there. That's a good place for a sea base. We're gonna place it, and we're gonna place. Oh no, that's wrong! You did it wrong. You don't listen to me. You always do things wrong because you don't listen. I am like one of the um, inventors of all things awesome, or something like that. So don't argue with me. We're just gonna place these here, kinda like that. I don't know what I'm doing. I know it doesn't make much sense. It doesn't make sense to me either, but um, you don't see me stopping, right? Yeah, so. Look at that sea base. Oh shit, what was that? Oh, oh, it was just it was just my sea base. Oh, I heard that noise and I thought something was after me. Oh shoot, I just about had a heart attack. I was like, oh crap. Um. Can I put this, can I put this somewhere? Where can we put this? Can we put this right here? There we go, nice. There, now shut up. Quit making all that damn noise. This is such a freaking cool place. I mean, all bullshit aside, guys, I do want to build some core, like some sort of sea base down here just because of how this looks. I mean, it's even got the little mushrooms. It's a wee little baby mushroom. It's just a baby. Hey, little baby. I wonder if like they plan on incorporating it into the game where you could like harvest these because that would just be cool wouldn't it you 
harvest up some mushrooms, make some nice mushroom tea, sit back and relax while you watch the little critters of the ocean. Ooh, an oculus! These guys are such good eating. Ah, oh, kind of like possum stew. There's some good stuff in there. I'm just gonna kind of swim around in here and make myself at home. What was that? Oh, you! How you doing, buddy? Oh, there's two of you, three of you, four! Holy shit, there's a whole bunch of them over there. That would make the perfect freaking scary movie, wouldn't it? A movie about exploring an ocean planet with caves and scary beasts. They should really make a movie out of this game now. That's exactly what I'm thinking. Wouldn't this make such a great movie? Holy crap, it's weird how my mind works. I'm so genius. These guys remind me of the Ascended People on um, the Stargate series. I don't know if any of you guys ever watched like the Stargate shows or anything, but I was a huge fan of them, still am. Um, and these kind of remind me of the um, the Ascended beings that were in Stargate. That's just, that's what they kind of look like to me. That are a weird looking spider. And I am scared of spiders. I don't want to think of them as spiders because then they start creeping me out. That's okay. I'm creeped out now. I'm just gonna leave. Oh yeah, this is this is nice. This is where it's at, guys. This is exactly where it's at. Right down here. This is exactly where you want to be on the um, ocean planet that is Subnautica. What is the name of this planet? You know, I've just now thought of that. What is the name of this planet? Does anybody know? Hey, this is cool. This is really cool. I like this. This looks good. Does that hurt you? No? Okay, it doesn't hurt you. But that does. We all know that hurts. Oh, yep. See? There it goes. It hurt. <laughs> I am so stupid sometimes. Uh, okay. You know what? Let's, um, let's get out of this place. I think it's time to go home. Um, I'm leaving. Okay? You guys can... Ooh, what is that? What is that? What the hell is this? This looks so new. Is this new? Hey, check it out, guys. We can go inside the mushroom. This is too cool. I've got my own little mushroom house. This is my, my little mushroom house, guys. Check it out. I live inside of a mushroom. This is awesome. Can I, like, can I set up some stuff in here? Is there any way to set up some stuff? No. Oh, man, that sucks. I wanted to set something up in here. Can, um, can I, can I still do it if I do this no oh how cool would that be to find a mushroom big enough that you could set off you know a little little piece of a core door off inside here and um have like a little secret hidden little sea base that would be too cool wow look how big this one is i wonder how far we can go down inside this one because yeah this one looks a little bit bigger than that one doesn't it holy crap did i find like a secret passage this is so freaking sweet. All right, so that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Till next time, go ahead and hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. And thank you for watching. Take care, guys.